Oh, he's always busy. How are you? I'm good. Just getting a little older um, sa Sunday. Not fun. <laughs> right. Oh, is it your birthday? Yeah, I'm finally gonna be 21. Oh, Ooh, congrats. You can drink. Yay. I know. And, and <laughs> rent a car and, and, you know, travel when, without a lot wow. of... Yeah. Finally, I'm you know. Moving up in the world. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what do you think about pedal drive kayaks? Do you like them? Yes. Do you think they're still a good option or you'd rather have a motor and enjoy having fun on the water? So, no, this is not a trick question, but this is a video I'm trying to make. I'm trying to call people and ask them if they think pedal drive kayaks are dead in 2023. Do you rather... No interestingly enough eric and like other vendors are saying that people are like upgrading their kayaks rather than getting like a new kayak so like motorizing it so i think you know it's going in that direction like people are updating and adding things rather than getting new ones right I don't know if that answers your question at all well that's a start because i do notice that views are overall down and i think it's because people don't have the money to buy a new pack Oh, 100%. So the no, our sales are down for like the lower end things. Everyone is across the board, like every vendor that we talk to, it's like the same thing. And it's just started picking up, like summer has started really. It's weird. Like it shifted. 2020 was a great year for us. <laughs> right, for outdoors, I know. For outdoor, but now people are like going back to the old ways. Um, the other day I saw something in online and people saying like they miss the lockdowns but those are the people that want to stay inside they don't want to go out and I'm like yes I right. do miss that because I, I was out when you guys were inside and it was the best <laughs> right. so, so let's go back to that I don't want to pay $300 a night for a hotel I just want to have it for free <laughs> I know I know right <laughs> yeah but like your personal opinion like you like which one I would rather use? Yes. Me personally, probably the pedal. Ah, uh, cause see, you're you're a fit person. You like to work out. That's what it is. Now, do you mind if I put some of this conversation on a video? Nobody's gonna see you. <laughs> wait, wait. No, I don't care. No, wait, wait. They're <laughs> no, gonna, no, no. They're gonna <laughs> they, they're gonna see you because I need to use B-roll, and they're gonna see you. Hmm, this is interesting. Right. Thank you. You just got me like a million views. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Well, Eric's gonna welcome you because, guys, you know what? If you wanna buy a Macana or a Shearwater, you know, just hit hit us up. Yeah. We, we have them. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Hello? Hey, are pedal drive kayaks dead? 2023? Are they, is it over? <laughs> I tell you what, it's slow. It's not dead, but it's slow. Have you noticed that people are upgrading their current kayak setup instead of buying new ones? Um, well, let's see. Yeah, they'll, they're trading in, they'll trade in a, a non-pedal drive. For, that, so they um, trade in a non-pedal drive kayak for a pedal drive kayak. Have they asked you for motors or other ways to make their fishing better? No, you know I had a guy this week trade in an autopilot 120 to get a pro angler, a pro angler 14. Is he one of those older people that will have really bad friends or something? I don't know. <laughs> but he brought. That's what he did. He traded it in. He wanted a um, he wanted a PA 14. Did he say and he why? Traded, and he traded in a 2023 autopilot 120. <laughs> wow, he probably had the wrong battery, man the wrong battery yeah i don't know maybe he had one of those lead acid batteries and that you know amp outdoors the best i don't know <laughs> i, I don't know a battery because it didn't come with the battery but yeah exactly it was too heavy he left it at home but like did, did he say why he traded it in he just wanted he just wanted a, a pedal drive and he didn't i guess he just didn't want a motor with a battery and like maintenance he wanted more simple yeah, that's but, I can think of. but that's what what I don't get because that's not simple. He's still gonna have to probably do more maintenance on that drive. Guys, we're live here on a phone call with the one and only Rod Real Fishing, who charges ten thousand dollars per minute. So, 
you better watch this video and like it because this thing is costing me a lot of money but he commented on my video yesterday or today i don't know and he's saying that pedal kayaks are like dead and here's the thing i haven't seen him use a pedal drive kayak in ages so how do you plead but pedal kayaks are dead bro i learned that from you like last year when you were uploading videos you said pedal kayaks were dead maybe you had a question mark in your title i don't know but i do remember you made some good videos about pedal kayaks being dead so i honestly since i have my kayak with an electric motor I maybe used a pedal kayak maybe three times in two years compared to like 50 times with the electric motor kayak, you know? But you know what I think it is, bro? It's all about conditioning. When I made that video, I was just using the autopilots. I was just using the uh, the trolling motors and the hands-free fishing and all that stuff. and. And that's all you want to use because that's what works. But then when you, like myself, you start reviewing other products and you put a Bisbee on a PDL drive kayak and you take it offshore and you have fun, you you start thinking, oh man, this is good. So here's, here's what I think. A combination of a really good pedal drive kayak with a really good motor, say a Bisbee or if you want to put something else. Something that, look, the Bisbee is seamless. You could flip on the ocean and get back on the boat and keep going. If you have anything like um, like a Newport vessel, a trolling motor, it, it may not work after you flipped, right? Um, right. And and I love pump outdoor lithium batteries, by the way. But you know that <laughs> that combination right there with a battery connected through cable, you flip over. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, you're probably not gonna find your battery again. So. Um, <laughs> But like yeah. something like the Bisbee or even a Torquito that is waterproof and you if you do flip, it, chances are everything is going to be fine afterwards. That combination is, is hard to beat because um, you, you get like the exercise and everything. But you're missing on the uh, iPilot and Autopilot and all the stuff that really sells kayaking for me, right? I guess it depends. Right. It depends. Like if you want to feel safe and when you go offshore i think uh, having a combination of the two is better than just the motor alone or just the uh the drive alone uh, so. i agree because i mean my kayak's heavy with the electric motor and the battery i do i do not want that to break down two miles three miles away from the ramp i don't want to have to pedal that heavy kayak or paddle but if you have the combination with the pedal and the electric motor, yeah, you're you're definitely in good shape. But about the big speed, my buddy that has, uh, anyway, he just got a really nice motor for his Hobie kayak. He used to have a, a big speed. And the thing he didn't like about the big speed is, is he didn't spend the money for like the extra large battery oh that it comes with yeah and so he was disappointed that he just couldn't get any distance out of the big speed it was just for very short runs yeah it's basically uh, one hour max um hour and 10 minutes that's why i always it, had two batteries with me um and i bought my first big speed by the way guys i paid for it with my dollars uh but like yeah. with the, the new battery lasts forever and that combination of short bro like you could go days and days and days Right. Um, right. Bisbee got, have gotten as more expensive than it should, you know, so that's yeah. true. But I mean, everything else have gotten more expensive than, than it should be. I yeah. mean, have you buy? Have you bought any eggs recently? No. <laughs> <laughs> that expensive, huh? Wow. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But here's the thing, bro. Let's let's just bring down the hammer on this issue, right? They're dead. They're dead. We just this. We just agree that they're dead because they need a motor. <laughs> the pedal kayaks. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> when, you know, I, I fished under a pier about two years ago that had, I mean, it was a, a pier that probably had 500 pilings underneath it, and we were specifically sheep's head fishing, and the person that invited me. He said, bring your pedal kayak. He said, your electric motor kayak is not going to work efficiently underneath that pier. And he was right. Having the forward and reverse on the uh, Predator PDL 
was perfect for fishing underneath that. We fished under there for like four hours. It was perfect uh, for navigating through all those pilings. But that's really, since I've had the, the electric motor kayak, that's really the only situation that I've been in. Um, sometimes if I get in really, if I get in really, really shallow water with the propeller sitting the motor, I will, I will get off of the seat and I'll climb to the back of the kayak and I'll sit on my cooler and it'll raise the front of the kayak. But you know, I've got, I've got the, uh, autopilot 120 where the motor is built into the kayak so i can't raise the prop up um yeah but like uh, when when you do that uh, most of the boat is off the water so above you could use it i actually do that a lot with the uh, two feet 300 i yeah and, yeah so i can get really shallow with the autopilot 120 so i just i have not found really any conditions that the auto autopilot 120 you know isn't sufficient and where i where i really think i would need a pedal kayak other than being underneath that pier i think if you're working the docks and working yeah. areas you have to maneuver a lot that's where you yeah. will get something like like that with instant reverse or a hobie 360 because it allows you to do those things like that yeah very specific use cases now what do you make out of this a guy just came back and returned a brand new 120 autopilot and he got out a Hobie Pro Angler 14. What do you think is wrong with that person? I, I don't own a Hobie, I've never been in a Hobie, but it just seems like the people that use Hobies is almost like a cult. It's it is like a they cult. They just got their group and it's like, Hobie's the best, Hobie's the best, Hobie's the best, you know? Uh, um, it is a cult. Yeah. Why do you think I always say people uh, Hobie hates me? And I mean, people that love Hobie, when they see my videos, they wanna pretty much beat me up because I say things like what I say. Um, and uh, the thing with Hobie is that they do break. And that's why Hobie has an excellent warranty that if something happens, they'll replace the hole sometimes and no question asked because they know things break. But these people act like hobbies are like, buy one and no, I have to worry about it forever. And that's not true. That's not right. true. Um, yeah. Excellent boats, but now the prices, bro, like the new links, it's, I think it's like $3,300, $3,400. Uh, no, man, that's too much money. Uh, the right. Pro Angler 360 is $5,700. Bro, you could get an autopilot with a nice battery and still have money left over to buy a bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's not, uh, bro, I mean, seriously, it is what it is, but I think prices have gotten out of hand um, from everybody, Old Town, whoever, doesn't matter. Prices are just, I used to love to say, Old Town has really low cost kayaks, like really, uh, you know, great prices, high quality, right? But now it's, high quality okay prices <laughs> mm -hmm. and i and i would tell it to their faces yeah too expensive man some of them i mean the uh what is it the um the autopilot is still i think it's four thousand dollars so it only went up two hundred dollars that's totally fine i think i think it was underpriced at 120 but the the other one the 136 i think it's like forty six hundred dollars yeah Ouch. I, I haven't i haven't looked at the prices in a while but yeah they have had quite an increase since you know all this stuff and everything yeah so. yeah bro i mean the salty video went from 1900 to like 2300 dollars that's that's a that's a huge markup yeah but I, hey you gotta they, will, they gotta pay the bills i will say this about pedal kayaks um yeah it, it's it's a pretty funny joke you know pedal kayak kayaks are good um i i don't own one right now but whenever i fish out of a pedal kayak i enjoy it i really do there's something about pedaling and maneuvering with the pedals uh, especially the one that you know i had the pdl the pedal drive forward and reverse and uh, i just i enjoyed fishing in it the only the only reason i don't have it anymore is because literally it was just sitting there on the rack doing nothing and i thought this is ridiculous you know i'm never using it why why am i even keeping it so. But that that goes back to what I was telling you earlier. It's about conditioning. So if you if you get on one right now, you're gonna like the feeling. You're gonna start using it more often. You're probably bored of your autopilot right now. 
you're probably bored of the fishing you're doing so if you get on a uh, on a propel drive kayak you're gonna start fishing finding places where it excel which is gonna change your views and then you're gonna start liking it and using it a lot and you may not even touch your autopilot for a while it's it's like that like it's uh, we're humans you know we get into something we really get into it and then we forget about the other stuff Alt subscribe and click that little bell to set your notifications do that for uh, rad real feeling rad reeling fishing you don't even and know the name Alex. of your channel man seriously and for alex <laughs> olgara but answer the question you rather have someone watch 100 of your videos fully and never subscribe or have that person subscribe and only watch one video oh i want them to watch 100 videos yeah but yeah before we go i do want to say that actually all kayaks are good because it's all about fishing with e-bikes now true story that's why you're gonna hook me up with one of your bikes right <laughs> I, i'm trying to get you hooked up bro you know in the next couple days maybe that's gonna happen let's make it happen bro but then you gotta come down here and show me how to use it by going bike fishing yeah yeah well <laughs> hey we got better fish than you do bro that takes that takes uh fun that takes funding to do that 